part of my skin does not tell you the language that I speak. Like Delta has to do better. The Panama International Airport. No liquids. They pat me down. That's the world was There's so much more stuff that's being smuggled into this country. Cut your hands out. Obviously, I'm not a drug smuggler. What the hell? I bet you can have my pants too. Drug me off. They kept going. I even started searching through my clothes. Black Americans at that. I was just going off. Y'all have me messed up. And tag Delta. Oh, What's good, Messy Gang? It's your girl Des, and I'm back at you with another banger. As y'all can tell from the title of today's video, we're gonna go ahead and get right into today's story time having to do with the slick, racist, and just very off putting experience that I had at the Panama International Airport. So if you guys watched my last video, then you already know. Um, so today we're just gonna zero in on the experience that I had at the airport because this was so uncalled for and it was just like the absolute last straw of the very last of us being in Panama. Like, I could not wait to hurry up and get on that freaking plane, y'all. Like, let me just tell y'all the tea because I know that's what we all came here for, okay? Okay. So before we go ahead and get into today's story time, make sure y'all grab your tea, your drink a drink, your snack a snack, cause buckle up besties, it's gonna be a hell of a story. <laughs> Boom. All of this took place on December 26, 2023, as we were leaving from our resort, our Rio Playa Blanca resort, which we don't even want to talk about it right now, but we was leaving from there. So y'all already know when you go into the airport, you're gonna go through your check security and whatnot right you're gonna take off your shoes you're gonna have to take off your jackets you're gonna have to put all your devices into these little barrels like okay whatever we all know this process right cool so, so after we got um our food and everything situated we did end up going down to our gate and when we went down to our gate we noticed that like our gate was kind of separated off from the other gates and when i say this like i think i have a video of it if i do i'll show y'all all of the seats that were in our area for the gate were sectioned off by like those little you know ropes that you have for like events or whatever just to like section off an area right so that was all around all of the seats for our gate and i, I immediately was like what the hell that can't be our gate like no, no. <laughs> so there was a walkway and you could either go to the left and that was our gate or you could go to the right and that was some other gate right however once you broke off to the right there was no like rope sectioning off that gate it was only rope sectioning off our gate so whatever we went through the little rope section to you know like the entrance and as soon as we went and broke off to the left there was um like this big machine on the right and then there was a group of like delta workers just sitting down on their phones and whatever right so as soon as we like walked past that line and we started to walk past the delta workers all of the delta workers just decided to jump up and just be like oh no no no, no. you gotta go back you gotta go back and i'm just like what the fuck do i gotta go back for rich everybody else was sitting down so, and that's what really blew me because everybody else and their mama that was on our flight, they were sitting down, twiddling their thumbs, eating food, drinking, kids running around, doing whatever the hell they wanted, and it wasn't an issue. And then as soon as we walked up to go find our seats and our gate, all of the Delta employees want to hop up off their phones and actually do their job, okay? So, this is where it starts to get kind of fucked up because y'all have me messed up up all the delta workers are getting up and they're actually trying to do their job at this point and so they're telling us that no y'all gotta go back behind this um behind like the rope area and i'm just like why do i need to go back behind the rope area this is my gate like everybody else is sitting down why can't i go sit down right and so then there was this one like lady this one dark skin lady she came all up in our faces and was just saying like y'all can't be over here with the drinks y'all have to leave the drinks no drinks over here no food over here no none of that and i'm just like okay and so i started pointing out i was like but they have food they have drinks they're sitting in our gate what's the issue oh well this is the gate for you know we have to do second security second round of security i'm like okay well we just did first round of security honey what do you mean we gotta do second round of security well we gotta do second round of security uh okay so can i not sit my ass down and drink my food drink my drink and eat my food before you do second security because it looks like y'all are just now trying to start security now that we're trying to sit down okay. and then you know what this lady had the audacity to say 
Oh, well, we're starting second checks right now. So y'all got to get back out of the line because y'all have food and drinks. There's no drinks allowed over here, but you can have food. What? And then she wanted to, to clarify even more specifically, no liquids over here. No liquids. So if I have ketchup and it's on a burger, is that not a liquid? You want a burger? You got a burger. You want a burger? Look at our french fry. <laughs> we all got out of line and we, you know, went over to the next gate over and we sat down, started drinking, started eating and whatever right but my issue is like a if you're not allowed to have food at your gate or drinks at your gate why would you have restaurants right outside of the gate like not even you don't even have to step 20 feet and you're at a restaurant you get what i'm saying like and then there was no trash cans nearby so we had to go like three gates over to find a trash can come on now come on now oh my gosh and then the whole time that we were sitting there and we were eating our little carl's jr Tell me why the lady that had gone all up in her face telling us that we had to move and we had to leave and da 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 She was staring us down and talking shit back and forth between English and Spanish with the other little lady that wants to come over here and ha ha ki ki kick it. And it's like, I'm not even trying to be disrespectful. I really am not. But it's just the fact that why, if you're coming to an airport, A, why would you have food near the gate? Then you say you're not allowed to have food or drinks at the gate while you're sitting and waiting for your plane like am i supposed to die of dehydration because like that's that's what it seems like then the lady that was already all up in our face as soon as she told us oh you need to move you need to leave you can't have drinks and whatever and as soon as i started going back and forth with her she wanted to act like she didn't speak english and i'm just like you just spoke all these words to me in english and now you want to backtrack like you don't speak english so now you're telling me that at an international airport, you don't speak English. English is a very common language. And I'm not just saying that because I'm an American. I'm just saying that because trade, you get what I'm saying? Maybe I am biased. Maybe I am biased. But like a lot of people, I don't know, y'all. I feel like maybe I'm being biased now. Maybe I mean, I don't, y'all got me second thinking, second guessing myself. Like y'all really got me second guessing myself. I don't know. But me, I'm going to say like this. I just feel like you know in an international airport you should have people if you if you personally do not speak whatever language these customers are speaking then you need to have somebody close by that speaks said language right or wrong like because i mean we we have that at the atlanta airport that's an international airport do we not after the lady stops fucking staring us down while we eating our food like she's watching this whole mukbang irl <sighs> <laughs> we ended up getting in line because there was a long ass line at this point because everybody had to get up out of their seats at our gate and then get in line because we had to go through this check okay and so as so, by the time that we got done eating and got in line half the line was gone okay and i had been watching the line too while i was eating because i wanted to see what the hell you gonna make us do right so essentially all that they had the other people doing before we got in line was going through technically a second round of checks so they had to you know take out their laptops take out their phones take out their ipads whatever the case and set it in a separate bucket take off your shoes you know run through the little machine and then go sit down like that that's what everybody else did like i kid you not i was watching every single person in that line and that's what all of them did before us and when I asked, why do we have to go through a second round of security? They want to say, because this is the only gate where, you know, um, people that are coming off of the plane have contact with the people coming on the plane. So I'm just like, why the fuck would you do that in the first place? Why would you, the airport, you, why would y'all even decide that that was a smart idea? Why would you not have your incoming and outcoming? And even if that is the case... Even if that is the case, why would you think somebody would be stupid enough? <laughs> stupid enough to just... I don't even want to get into that because y'all be having some ulterior motives. like. So when we finally got into line, we had to show you know, our passport, our boarding pass, and whatever. Then, of course, of course, this lady wants to mark all three of our boarding passes. My mom, my girlfriend, and me. She wants to mark all three of our boarding passes to be 
again checked even though we're going through second round of security so i'm the first person that is going through the security out of all three of us and i guess because i had the loudest mouth and i was just going off they decided that it would be a great plan to pull me aside after that second round of security okay and so at this point i was livid i was pissed nobody else in front of us did this and only and even after they did this to me, they did it to my mom and they did it to my girlfriend. And they didn't even do it as harsh as they did it to me, to them. A. B. I was watching the entirety of the rest of like the people checking in to come to our gate. They only did it to two other people and it was black people. Black Americans at that. Oh, so I already felt some type of way. I'm like, are y'all being prejudiced? Y'all are being racist? Y'all are discriminating because I don't speak fluent Spanish? Like bitch what the fuck just because i don't speak it don't mean i don't understand it and bitch best believe i'll pull out that google translate on your ass real fucking quick because you gonna hear me <laughs> you gonna hear what i gotta say so after they put my bags through the little second round of security and mind you this is all like right here at the gate like literally at the gate like our airplane our airplane could pull up any second and we still in security you get what i'm saying even though we're like 20 steps away from getting on the airplane <laughs> So, after they pull me through the second round of security, they have this little station set up over to, like, the side. And that's also roped off before you can get to, like, the seat area, right? To where you can sit down. And so, that's where everybody was huddled up when we first walked through the ropes and we went to go find our seat. So, Even though they just got all of my electronics out of my bags and they had me put it back in my bags. And then, even though I just put my shoes on and they had me, even though they had me take my shoes off and then I just put my shoes back on and then I put my jacket back on. They told me I had to take it all off again take out all those devices all over again I had to get out all of my cords for my devices i had to get all of the blocks out for my devices i had to get literally everything that you could think of i had to get it out right. they even started searching through my clothes like, i gave okay. them all my electronics that they asked for i gave them all the cords i gave them all the blocks i gave them everything that they wanted and then they continued and even searched through all of my clothes all my underwear my socks like any and everything that was in my bag they decided to search through it and that wasn't even enough they didn't stop there i they kept going after they rummaged through everything they decided that they wanted to get these like little bitty like I wish I knew what it was called, but it's like little cards. And on the card, they would like put it up to the machine, I guess to say like that it's a new card. And then they would run that card all through my suitcase. So they would run it through like the zippers on my suitcase, through some of my clothes, like all of the folds in my suitcase. And then they would scan it. And then it would be like nothing detected. Obviously, I'm not a drug smuggler. Obvious fucking Lee. But that wasn't enough. So then they take a new little card and they run that over all of my devices. And every single device that they have, they have to get a new card and then detect it and see if it's, you know what I'm saying? Seeing, seeing if there's any drugs on there. Like, do I look like a drug smuggler, y'all? Like, what? What the fuck? Drug me all. And mind y'all, while they're going through my bag and they're doing all this little stuff on my devices, while they're doing this, they tell me that I have to stand in front of them, have no shoes on. I took off my fucking sweatpants because bitch, you wanted my jacket, bet you can have my pants too. So I'm at this point, I'm in shorts and a tank top, like <laughs> just chilling, okay? Just chilling, waiting on these bitches to tell me I could get clothed again. <laughs> After they decide that they're finished going through all of my, my all of my bags and all of my stuff and going through everything, they then say, "Put your hands out, put your hands out." So I have my hands out like this and they have another one of them little stupid little freaking tags and they run it through my whole like all my fingers, every single like fingerprint all over my hands, like everything. And then they put it up again. Like they're trying to detect if I have drugs on my hands. Like, are you, are you serious? Are you, is it that bad in Panama? And if it's that bad in Panama, why do y'all not have a travel advisory? I'm not even going to get into it because I believe that the Panama Canal will be taking in a lot more than just goods and services. But we knew this and it's very sad because we know this, okay? And there's still all of this happening. Like, if y'all watched my last video, <laughs> then you kind of know where the hell I'm going with this. But like, literally, there's so much more stuff that's being smuggled into this country besides drugs, okay? So that's why i'm just so blown away at the fact that you really thought i was a drug smuggler and you really took all that time out of your day like it literally took them another 45 minutes just to do my second round of 
TSA, T uh, second round of security, whatever the fuck you want to call it, at the gate. At the gate, okay? After they did all of that, they roughly put all my shit back into a bag. And I'm sitting over here telling this man, you better not break my suitcase because bitch is coming out until check. Like, you know? <laughs> then my mom goes through it. They do the same process with her, but she gets to keep her shoes on because she has slides on. Then... I, but she still has to stand. They're still being rough with her. And my girlfriend comes through. Mind y'all. Like I already said, I felt like they were being discriminative. I felt like they were being racist. And you know what? This kind of confirms it because they did not treat my girlfriend like this. They literally told my girlfriend that she could sit down. They didn't do her fingerprints. They didn't do like all of her devices. They didn't even do like the most with her. Like literally. Mind y'all. Oh my gosh. Literally y'all. After they did my fingerprints and put all my shit back in the bag, they had the audacity to fucking pat me down. Yes, they pat me down. Bitch was getting sensitive. My bitch was just all up in my titties patting me. Why? You think I got something here? It's just some meat. After everything was said and done, y'all know me. I'm, I'm the one that's gonna be like, uh-uh. That's not cute. That's not cool. Let me speak to your superior, okay? yeah i was caring that day i sure the fuck was because you got me bent you got me so, so bent. i took it upon myself to ask for a manager and i asked for someone who speaks english because apparently y'all don't want to act like y'all can speak fucking english even though you're a delta employee and delta is going to hire people that speak english because they know that people are traveling from america and to america I ask for the manager or the supervisor or whoever the fuck is going to come speak to me. And he decides to come and speak to me. And I tell him about himself and I tell him about all his crew. And I even was videoing at one point. I even videoed what the fuck they were doing to me because it was just like nobody else in line was going to that process that I was at or that my mom was at or that my girlfriend was at. There was only two other people and it was black. It was black people like that tells me something in itself like just because these other people are white and they speak perfect english and you know what i'm saying doesn't mean that because i have some darkness to my skin like i know y'all know this you know what i'm saying like hispanics are not like white they're not like light brights and even if they were i still consider y'all my, my my sister my kinfolk you know what i'm saying like, like i truly just don't understand why it was an issue because the color of my skin does not tell you the language that i speak <laughs> before i took the video that i just told all about there was this lady manager who was in like this bright yellow vest and she basically told me that she don't speak english even though she literally just was speaking english to me when i told her i needed another manager and i told her what the fuck they just did right and so she rolled her eyes at me got an attitude and walked off so the second i started recording the bitch want to come running into the video like i swear i i really think she's in the video so if i find it i'm gonna post it for y'all but so she comes running and she's like oh you can't video you can't video and so i you know i i wasn't paying her no mind she went and then snitched on me to the manager to the manager that i had called over and he is gonna say oh you have a video she says you have a video that you have a video of the process you have a video of her like i showed him the video so fucking quick i said no i don't want her funky ass in my video and i don't give a fuck about none of y'all security like y'all are not gonna suppress me and that's just that as soon as i said that he said oh 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 yeah oh nigga oh and i asked for his name i got the names of the people at the front i got the names of the people that were you know acting funny towards us a lot of them refused to give us their names which is crazy because i personally thought that as a delta employee you could not do such a thing okay right right um i don't know i don't know the manager wouldn't even give me their names he said oh i'm gonna take the blame for it you know whatever okay bro be a nice guy whatever i truly don't care but at the end of the day i don't have an issue with you i have an issue with your staff and the fact that you're not even taking me seriously is an issue in itself because why am i complaining to you about your staff but you walk over to your staff point at us and then ha ha key key with them so much for managerial status like for real like that's that, that, that that's the world that you're not gonna disrespect me you're not gonna discriminate me against me you're not gonna do any of that that's very unprofessional whatsoever so that in itself made me completely not want to go back to the panama airport the panama international airport at that and let alone flying with delta because never in my life have i had an issue with delta besides that instance and the fact that i couldn't even like 
Like, to be honest, y'all, I know I can file a complaint with Delta and just go through all their little hoops and whatnot. But truthfully, me personally, I don't really believe that's going to give me any justice. I don't really believe that that's going to get me anything because you give me a thousand characters to explain what I just said. You give me a thousand characters to explain what I just said in this whole story time. And you think that you're going to get back to me in like four weeks? I doubt that there's going to be any justice here. And I doubt that, you know, whatever is going to happen. Just do your job. Like, just do your fucking job, please. Like, and I hate to be that person. I truly do. Like, I don't ever try to come on the internet and just complain. Like, that's not me. But me personally, I feel like Delta has to do better. I mean, me personally, I feel like Panama has to do better. Because if y'all know, then y'all know in my last video, they don't fuck with me real bad okay and if you haven't watched it go watch it now but um yeah so that's really all i have to say for this whole story time because truthfully i feel like i just need to stop talking about it before i get more irritated because i'm the type of person like if i talk about something that was irritating in the moment and i get really irritated with it it's gonna take me a little minute to get unirritated with it like girl go take a hot shower go go chill out <laughs> i just want to ask y'all like have y'all ever flown to the panama international airport if you have please let me know down below and if you've ever had an experience like this also let me know side note does anybody know how to actually make a complaint besides doing that little thousand word paragraph whatever through delta because i do want them to hear my mouth but like i don't know if it's even gonna do nothing so Make sure you just go ahead and tag Delta. Tag them down below because we need them to know what's going on in their airports. I feel like they don't check up on their people like they should. So let this be a reminder, Delta. Tag them down below for me, please. Thank y'all. Love y'all. But yeah, besties, um, that's all I really have for y'all today. So until next time, make sure you have those post notifications on because I'm posting every Tuesday and Thursday. Make sure it's on. But I love y'all. Stay safe. Peace.